Hello and welcome. I am Mustard. And I am Ketchup. And you're watching the ESL Premiership Roundup powered by Windows 10 and Omen by HP. That's right. We have officially surpassed our halfway point this time. And in our first series of the night for week four, Endpoint would face off against Impulse Gaming. This was a live setting in the ESO UK offices. And then in our second series, Fish123 would face off against Royals UK. And as always, we're going to take a little bit of a look into how those games went down. Our first series of the night was played live from the ESL UK studios, introducing a new offline element for the teams to factor in. Endpoint was on somewhat of a losing streak prior to this, so wins were definitely needed. The first map would take us to Nuke, and in one of our most dominant maps so far in the Premiership, Endpoint would seize this one 16-3, looking solid from start to finish. It was a fantastic way to kick things off. With a swift ban on Nuke the next time round, our second map would be Dust2. Impulse fought back this time. The rounds would go back and forth with a couple of really clutch fights on the side of Impulse, but a couple of hasty decisions would see Endpoint begin a lead, and at around the halfway mark, this lead would steadily continue until a 16-7 result was finalised. Returning to the usual format of online, Fish123 would take on Royals UK. Cobblestone was the destination of the first map, and the two teams would be in complete deadlock. Fish would have a somewhat shaky start to give Royals the chance of the upset, but as things progressed, Fish would take control, and with that, the first map would go 16 to 12 to Fish 1 2 3. Map 2 saw the players facing off on Dust 2, and would be a different story altogether. Fish would take the reins early, taking the first eight rounds before Royals could even score one. As the map reached its final stages, Fish would start showboating a little bit to try and destroy all confidence in their opposition. And with the final 1v1 between Zack and Jack, the series would end 2-0 in Fish 123's favour. So once again, let's take a look at the current standings to see where we are. One thing you'll notice straight away, first and second place being the important spots for making finals, tied at 10 points, FM Esports and Fish123 deadlocked neck and neck at 10 points, which is putting them in a comfortable position. Now we're reaching that point in the league where it's not just a case of my team must win so we get points. You need to make sure that the competition close to you in the league is not winning their games because you're effectively keeping the positions where they are, such as uh, Kaz Esports, now known as Imperial in the league, are facing off against FM Esports. Now, this is going to be a tough one for them. FM can afford to lose this. They do have a comfortable league, but for Imperial, they absolutely must win because if they lose versus the current top team, they are put in a very difficult situation. I think it's funny that you should say that, right? Because the other match that we have to pay attention to is Endpoint versus as Fish123. Endpoint looking really strong last week. However, going into this week, this is another must-win situation for them. And it's almost for exactly the same story because their competition currently is Imperial. They are very similar in the league um, and they are also going up against one of the two top teams. So it's not just a matter of I'm going to beat you and overtake. It's if my opposition wins, then they overtake me. But if my opposition loses, then I'm still being overtaken by those top teams. It's almost going to be harder for everybody. However, Endpoint need to only focus on themselves at this point because if they win, they are in a better situation. But if they lose, it's almost pretty much a no-brainer. Like, they might be going home if they lose this set. So there's a lot to play for, but I think we are reaching a point where it's just these teams are looking dominant and they've earned their place to be so dominant. And it's only a matter now of trying to take them out. And if you can't do it, Game over. But it is all to play for in the weeks to come. But for now, once again, that is all from us. Thank you very much for watching. This has been the ESL Premiership Report, powered by Windows 10 and Omen by HP. And we hope you enjoyed this week's matches.